a little bit of leather and barnyard character. That, that glue taste I got early on has, has pretty much disappeared. A little bit of pepper in there still. Mild pepper. Some general tobacco flavors. Not a bad tasting cigar. Just uh, not real complex. Sharing today's cigar with Shock Top Belgian White. It's a micro brew beer. Um, I enjoy this beer a lot. A lot of times I'll take a slice of orange, pop it down in there, or if I'm drinking it in a frosted mug, put a slice or two in there. Very good, very good beer. Real happy. Well, this is rather appropriate. Appropriate, I said. Seeing that I'm smoking a chocolate flavored cigar and drinking whiskey. Chocolate and whiskey go very well together. Think of the uh, little chocolate liqueurs that you get uh, where they're filled with different whiskeys. Some, like dirty chocolate almost. Didn't last very long. And then I started picking up almost like s'mores. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. Ash is only holding on just, just to make it through. Aside from the little bit of chocolate that you get from the cigar. Just this little bit here, there we go. Aside from the uh, little bit of chocolate that you get on the palate. It's a basic piece. cigar. So when you cut the cigar, this whole thing is coming undone. Alright guys. How about a little more attention to detail when you're this this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This thing's gonna be nothing but trouble the whole time I'm smoking it, I guarantee you that. This will continue to unravel until I've lost. I'm entering the final third. I did go ahead and use my guillotine cutter. Try to open up the draw. Um, it opened up ever so slightly. Uh, not enough to have made uh, made any real difference, really. Uh, I will be deducting half a point for the restrictive draw on the cigar. I have also uh, just removed the band. Just slid right off. It's still uh, intact, glued together. So uh, it was applied uh, with perfection. No excessive glue. Didn't stick to the wrapper at all. Didn't damage the wrapper well, slightly. Consistently good cigar from one cigar to the next. I've found that with any cigar, the smoking characteristics can change slightly from day to day. Really? Uh, a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of uh, cocoa. the baker's cocoa. Smoking of the cigar, the burn remained, uh, for the most part, pretty even, a, a little bit Secondary wavy, but correct. designating that this is a Maduro wrapper. As I was sliding it up, I did catch a little corner where, uh, uh, right at the seam where a vein and the seam met, and I don't know if you can see that, but I did peel it up a little bit. Hopefully that won't be a problem. And it is right at the nub. Money, under $10. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. This has been the...